So, uh, on that note, I cleaned up a little girl's sick at work on Saturday. Oh my yeah. Can you tell us the story, the full story? So, I was just working, it was like two hours in, and then my, my vision just cuts across to the side of the room, and it's a four-year-old <laughs> girl, and she's just bent over going, bleh, bleh. Oh, and, and her, wait, where is this? Uh, a Boots in uh, Livingston. <laughs> and then her mom just kind of turned to me and she was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Last fine. night, a guy threw up next to us yeah. and I was just like, I'm leaving. So and gross. Call, like, can we go now? Like, oh my gosh. Was that? The night had, oh had come gosh. to an end. Delete uh, your memory. <laughs> <laughs> um... And welcome back to Volumes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and today I am joined with my amazing new friend, June, and my amazing old friend, Riaz. And together, they're going to talk about uh, cultural differences uh, from, well, Riaz grew up here in Scotland, but June did not. You grew up in Beijing. Yes. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's episode. So... Get your popcorn, your snacks, get a big drink and enjoy the show. And it's Paradise. The second Paradise. <laughs> <is> <laughs> the second episode with a live studio audience. Clap guys. Woo! Yes. So, do you want to introduce yourselves? Tell me a bit about yourselves. Well, I know about you guys, but they don't. So Riaz. Tell me a bit about yourself. What do you like doing? What do you do? Oh, I was going to say, uh, tell me what you think of me. I <laughs> think of you. You're a very... Go or go I'm panicking. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a stranger. He doesn't know me. You're a very... Creative <laughs> person in your field. You're very headstrong, dedicated. Um and very educated individual. Jun, thank you. <laughs> I think you're the, uh, you're a very kind, sweet, uh, honest person. Thank you. I think you're writing a card for me. <laughs> 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 no. um, so do you want to just do a deep dive and tell me where your heritage is from, from both of you? Okay. Um, for me first, my mum and dad are both from Bangladesh, but my dad probably grew up more here, and I also grew up more here as well. I've been here my whole life. Yeah. Do you know when your dad moved here? Um, my dad moved here when he was a kid, so he spent most of his primary education and high school education here, right. but he would obviously go back to Bangladesh in between, so yeah. he still had those roots in between. Yeah. And your mum? My mom, she was there until she was 18, so which is a right. little bit later. And then she came over here when she got married, so she spent the majority of her life here. Hmm. That's 30 years. Yeah. What about you? Um, I was born in uh, Jiangsu province, which is um, a coastal province near Shanghai province. Right. Shanghai city. <laughs> like and Shanghai. did your, b- both your mom and dad grow up there as well? Um, no, like we moved to Beijing when I was one year old. Oh, right. Um, and then... I spent like 20 years in Beijing um, and then I came to like 18 years in Beijing and then uh, I came to Strathclyde to yeah. do my undergraduate. Right. So you did, what's like the education system like? Did you have, do you have like a primary school then a like a yeah, high school? Like kindergarten, primary school for six years and then uh, middle school, which is a combination of junior high school for three years and then high school for three years. Right. That's pretty similar. That's really similar. Yeah, it's yeah. Quite similar. Just kind of mashed. Just primary is different right. by one more year. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 I didn't think about that. Um, so, yeah. Junior, have you wrote down like a, a bunch of uh, like bullet points that you think are, are good areas to discuss, right? And I'm just going to use this as reference. Um, so, you've wrote down climate as your first one. Do you want to elaborate on that? Um, <laughs> apparently, everyone knows. Um, like Scottish or British weather is very changeable mm. um, whereas in China mm. you, can't, you can't really predict it predict what's happening tomorrow in China? Uh, yeah really? Like, it's quite accurate I would say right is it just consistently the same? is it warm? Um, different places have different kind of 
and weather. Yeah, but it's not really as changeable as here. Like mm. it's predictable. We are so sporadic here. You don't know what it's going to be like next. Like today. <laughs> like yeah, I can see it just behind you. Like snow's falling down. Yeah. So. Um and yes, Bangladesh. What's that like? Bangladesh. Cozy warm. Actually, Bangladesh has changed over the past few years, which is a little bit strange, right? It used to be, um, it was sunny all the time, right? Like, um, sunny and warm, just kind of unbearable, especially in the summer. Really humid. You can't bear it mm. at all. And then, I don't know if it's because the world is changing or whatever, but in the most recent years. It's snowed for the first time in what? Bangladesh. For, for the first time ever, right? Ever? Ever, yeah. And yeah, it's never snowed before. And now it's getting colder. Was it heavy snow? No, it was like light snow, but still. But enough to it be like, this is snow. This the is temperature's different. never dropped down that much before. And it gets cold more recently as well, like during the winter time. So it's weird. I'm not used to it. That's weird. Were oh, you there when it was snowing? I don't know. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> Yeah, uh, June said. Global warming. Global probably. warming, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's making everything unpredictable, isn't it? Was were you there when it snowed? No, I wasn't there because no. we normally go in summer. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, when you go over to China to Beijing, do you feel like like right back into it? This is like home. This is home. Yeah, like it's home, home. Yeah, but when you're here, do you feel a bit like oh, this is a bit kind of foreign, a bit different, a bit weird? Mm, it's not weird. No. <laughs> no, I like I enjoy Glasgow as much as I enjoy Beijing. Really? Yeah. Does it feel homely here? Yeah. Yeah. What about you when you when you go to Bangladesh? It doesn't, doesn't feel, feel like home, no. No. Nah. But I then you didn't grow up there, so to think that's yeah, I don't have those connections as well. I mean, I can enjoy the first two weeks, but then maybe at some point I'll thinking I'll be thinking when can I go back home? Do you yeah. have like a, a? Oh, sorry, go for it. Sorry, are you just missing the snow here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a lot of family in Bangladesh? A huge family, yeah. So when you go see them, does it not feel like more homely than... It feels lovely. Than just a holiday, if that um, makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's never like a holiday. It's always to go see family. Mm. Um, that's the best bit, seeing them. But obviously you're not as close to them as you could be because you see them um, so like briefly. Mm. By the way, if you guys have any, like you want to jump in, just fire away. <laughs> like, don't hold back you have any questions uh <coughs> same with you if you have any questions for right. each other of course fine right? be honest i see a glimmer in your eye there you're like oh, oh i have a question, question for you <laughs> <laughs> um Q&A. yeah yeah no i mean it's a q a session q a yeah mm-hmm. um i have a question go for it mm, it would be correct to say that you feel at home here right yes mm, what's the closest you've been to feeling at home anywhere else in the world <laughs> oh. anywhere else <laughs> okay. I would say Glasgow. How about you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. Uh, can I come back to that? Yeah, I'll course. think about it while we're we'll, we'll <laughs> Um What is something you miss from home when you're here? <laughs> the food. <laughs> the food. Yeah, really. That's the. That's one I think. Yeah. Yeah. So not not family or any like <laughs> food. But no, like when you think of a dish, probably like a homemade dish, you think of your family as well. Like Aww. oh, my mom once made me that, and yeah. That's so wholesome and nice. You can relate everything to food. Yeah. So is it when you have uh, Chinese style food here? Is it not even close to being mm, similar? It's not very authentic. No. Here. Yeah. Mm. Because it's. <laughs> Lucy agrees. <laughs> yeah. Do you think your diet has changed since you've lived here? Yeah, for my breakfast, yes. Oh, just your um, breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> what do you eat for breakfast here? Yeah, mm, like oats, milk, oat yeah. milk, um, and then like That's bread. Pretty Scottish, Scottish mm. sounding breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, we don't really eat bread or oats that much really? in China. Yeah. Hmm. So like what would you cereal, have for, I mean. for for breakfast in China? Hmm. We'll have a congee, 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 like porridge, but a very thick porridge. Right. Um, or with some like steam bounce. Mm. Bounce. Yeah. yeah. Do you live do, uh, in China? Do you live in the city uh, or is it more, what does it look like? Does it mm-hmm. look like high rise buildings or is it 
um, the place I'm like my family is yeah. living yeah. is kind of like the outskirt outskirt of the city, like well, between countryside and the city. Right. So does it look like a village or a town, or does it look like a mm, city? It's a city. It does. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is it po- very populated? No. No. Not really. No. But um, probably it's quite like Glasgow. But oh. if you compare to um, overpopulated places mm. like like the city center, like the CBD, mm. it's not the same. Mm. Right. What about in Bangladesh? Is it just is it busy? Was was it seem like or what's the is it similar to here at all? Visually, no. In terms of people, there's there's so many people. Yeah. What's the population of Bangladesh? It's like. It's either like ninety or a hundred million. Hundred million. Yeah, but if you that's think that's Beijing, that's <laughs> Beijing as well. What? Wait, no. the population of the cu- country, the country, yeah, is the equivalent to the population of the city. <laughs> the city yeah. I think it's like what, what? How did you say? What did you say yeah. about um, the population in Bangladesh? Ninety or a hundred. Mm. It's about that. Let me check. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't want to make. But a then the s- the size of Bangladesh isn't that big either. Um, I don't know how to compare it, but. Mm. Sorry, I think I heard your number wrongly the first time. I think Beijing is like twenty one, twenty two million. Mm-hmm. But yeah, twenty two million. Twenty two million and Beijing. Yeah. Ah right. Okay. Yeah, I heard it wrong. This <laughs> I want to compare the size. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Google time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you've uh, taken a note here. Uh, mm-hmm. The the uh, at the cinema. Oh gosh. The ads here are oh, like yeah. 30, 30 minutes long. We're gonna confirm it very soon. Yeah, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and and in China it's only like ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> like the the adverts, how long the adverts mm-hmm. last before the the movie is so short, but here it's like ages long um i found it by the way what was the answer um, i'm off by a lot it's 160 million 160 million <laughs> yeah it's the eighth most populous country i didn't even know that oh there's so many what busy place then mm-hmm. do you uh, do you like uh food when you're over there more oh, than you are oh more than here yeah like more more than here yeah uh yeah i think i do yeah yeah i love the food there so much the fish the fish the fish oh, oh. yeah the fish is really good there as well because it's all authentic like you said earlier because mm. your mum makes traditional like bangladesh food at home mm. and she makes a mixture of stuff i mean now we have a mixture of stuff because sometimes if we eat the same things we get bored during the week so let's have something different um but my mum does make authentic stuff the uh the note that you've got here as well uh the difference in price yeah what what is the difference in price is it more expensive living here or is it more expensive mm. living in China. For me, yes, it's more expensive to live here. Yeah. Cause I don't eat bags. No. Cause um no, let me explain. Uh, like for <laughs> <laughs> for um luxury things, um it's quite cheap here compared to the prices in China. But for veggies, um uh, like milk, right? Daily, uh, essentials. It's that yeah. It's cheaper there. Yeah, it's cheaper in Beijing. Right. And even cheaper in other provinces. What's like the difference? Like what? What? Like a, for a normal shop for you here, mm. how much does it come to compared to there? What's your favorite food? Hmm? <laughs> Let me think. Like uh, name a name a veggie or something. Uh, or like a like a pint of milk or like how does milk come? Couple pint. Yeah. Bottle or. Bo- bottle of milk. Mm, no milk. Here is cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper here. <laughs> oh, you picked the best one. No. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, I don't know. Warm milk. Hmm? Warm milk. Warm milk. Yeah, warm milk. Pick that. Warm milk? Watermelon. Watermelon, mm-hmm. okay. Mm. My God. Can we just check it again? Jun <laughs> <laughs> oh. has actually never been to China. <laughs> she is actually very not educated. <laughs> um... Uh, what's the uh, the challenge twenty five note you've got here? What's the like age that you can drink alcohol in China? Uh, it's eighteen. Eighteen as well. Yeah, but just that mm, people are not very 
fall into drink all the time like here right mm. there's just not a, a, like the same sort of drinking culture mm. no no what's it like in uh, Bangladesh I, I don't think there's any rules no rules <laughs> no honestly <laughs> there no you rules. it's it's a Muslim country so people normally don't drink yeah. but I don't think there's any rules you don't need a driver's license to drive there what yeah what like uh, an eight-year-old can jump in the van and just go my mom used to do it she 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 sounded really proud when she told me (laughs) that's funny um what about like for like buying cigarettes and stuff like that skin no rules you can uh, it's a country where you can bribe people for things oh that Um, sounds cool (laughs) (laughs) so if you get trouble with the police you just slip them a 20 as a uh, so it's a muslim country like so the majority of people there are muslim yeah is it like are things like cigarettes and stuff frowned upon i've never seen anyone smoke in bangladesh but i don't mm. think that's frowned upon it's just not that like normalized yeah. mm. um, but definitely alcohol is like banned alcohol is just banned yeah banned Do they sell alcohol in the shops and stuff you'd never find it sold in shops that people know about so you'd need to you need to know a secret you need to know a guy <laughs> you need to know a guy yeah. you need to know a guy um, okay, sorry, I got this. It's like between half a pound to a pound for uh, one kilogram if in Beijing. In Beijing? Ah. But, I mean, doing? the price... <laughs> the oh, okay. Oh, so as much even. Yeah, the price varies. Um, Depends on the seasons and years. So I'm not really sure. Right. Oh. Um... The what's the uh, in China not for nice? What is that what, like the uh, challenge twenty five thing? No, oh, that's for Scotland. We have what well, says in Euro in China n- not for knives. No, for does it say knives? Yeah, knives. 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 Um, I don't think you need to show your ID if you're buying knives. Do we need to show your ID? Yes. Ah, yeah. right. <laughs> like I don't know. Then, yeah, I've never needed to buy knives. Like, I feel like under twenty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I honestly thought that was just for for alcohol. Even if it's a crafting knife for art. I had to show my ID the other day. Really? Yeah. How about like a fruit knife? Uh, yeah, even that. Even that. Mm-hmm. What do the youth do in Bangladesh? <laughs> <laughs> so many questions for Bangladesh. Um, it's a country that's focused on education as well. A lot of people study. Uh, they love cricket. It's one of the national sports. Right. Oh. So is that... Most people, like most kids, when I think of my cousins. Yeah, they they hang out with their friends or their family, and they're very close knit with their family bonds as well. A, a lot more than we are here. Yeah, it's just that like so much of like what we do here it revolves around alcohol. Like we go to pubs and clubs and stuff like that, or socializing or seeing other people. Y- yeah. So if you like draw those things out, w- what is it they do? Like productive things, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it like in Bangladesh? Uh, no, <laughs> Beijing. Uh, I'll try to in Beijing. <laughs> visualize. Um, in Beijing, as I said in my like notes, mm. I would say only twenty percent of us go to like like partying or drinking, whereas it's the same perten- uh, percentage here. Um, people just like only twenty percent of people dislike them. Right. It's just the opposite. Right. Hmm. Interesting. Family are really big in Bangladesh. Mm-hmm. Right? Saying that, like most people have their families. What's it like in China? Mm. Yeah, for our, for for my mom's generation, I would say their families are really big. Um, but for our generation, for my generation, we just mm, I'm the only child in the family, in the family, uh, because we had a one child policy, although it's being modified to two child policy. And later on, it's going to be no limitation. So is the because, one yeah. one child policy still active in China? No, it's no. modified to, to a two, two child. But it's, yeah. it's still... So if you had three children, what happens? Mm, you get fined. You get fined? Yeah. So or, rich people could still have mm, lots of kids? Yeah, like superstars. Yeah. What well, if you had... This might be getting too complicated. What if you had one kid and then you had twins? That's okay. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, because right. they came out at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Mm. 
So is it like... It happens, sorry, it happens more in the villages, like countryside. If you, like, if you get more child, then you should. Yeah. So, and you get fined. Is it like a, a big thing? Mm, yeah. A lot of money. Is it taken very seriously? Mm, yes, I think so. Who enforces it? The police? Or how do they... The government. Oh, wait, did it say yeah, police? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, I think it's the government. So, so like, m- this may be a silly like, way of looking at it, but if you just had another kid, would you just not tell them? <laughs> like, <laughs> but you need to give it, um, like, how do you say? Um, 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 birth registration. Yes, exactly. But, cool. but <laughs> wouldn't you rather just not pay the fine and pretend the kid doesn't exist? Exactly. You know? <laughs> what if the kid can't go to school then? Yeah. Oh, you want to register mm, for school? Oh, sure. What's your name? Do you have an uh, ID? Mm. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Good point. I didn't think about it. That's why I said it was probably a stupid question. <laughs> the jury is on this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when you uh, when you were growing up in China, mm. um, and then when you moved here, what what was like the biggest like cultural difference you experienced when you moved Accent. here? Accent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's the biggest. And probably the only challenge for me when I first came here. Yeah. Mm, I think so. Because some people felt like lonely or, um, I don't know, homesick. But mm. I, I was okay. Yeah. But you just struggled with, with the accent. Yeah. Scottish yeah. accent. Yeah. Scottish accent. I, trust me, I, I struggle with a Scottish accent sometimes as well. <laughs> You've got more of a Scottish accent than most people though. Me? Yeah. You think? Yeah, of all of like our friend group and people that went to school. <laughs> um, That's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? No, I don't know how to say it. Say that I don't know. How, I don't know. How I to think say. I heard yeah. that phrase, not phrase, like that sentence you're in your podcast for a lot of times. Really? I say that a lot. That's brilliant. Isn't it? <laughs> That's brilliant. But very fast. <laughs> I, I couldn't even do it. <laughs> I did, I did. You're making me so self conscious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it anymore. Don't feel stressed, no. <laughs> Change it up. <laughs> um, That's <is> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's fat <boo. laughs> Um. So, did you learn English before coming? Scotland. Yeah, actually, I started learning English since kindergarten. Really? Yeah. Is that normal in China? Um, I think more and more normal recently, like for the recent few years. Uh, I know some of my some of my friends like they started in primary school. Mm. Yeah, but what we learned wasn't really, really, really <laughs> serious. Just serious? I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. No, complex. Com- yeah, complex. What you learned or what the kids in primary school learned? Mm, kids in primary school. So or what, what did they learn that isn't so useful? No, they are very useful, but uh-huh. just quite basic. Oh, okay. Just yeah. level. Yeah. yeah, just level. But I think we quite appreciate that. Mm. Well, I quite appreciate that. Is it common for people from China to come over... Uh, to the UK to study? Mm, more and more common, especially for your masters, for our masters. Mm. Is it ever common for people from the UK to go to China to study? No. Never? I don't think so. No one's ever done that? Because, see, if you come to China, you need to learn Mandarin mm. um, if you want to communicate fluently. Yeah. It, but, mm. I mean, you you learned English. Yeah, but That's English a is whole a. Another <laughs> Uh, English is an international uh, international no. language. And not like, to take anything away from you, because obviously learning English wasn't an easy feat. So mm-hmm. learning everything is not easy. And that's not true. Like Mandarin, no. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. Well, I quite adore learning English. I enjoy yeah. the process. So yeah. So you don't really mind learning. Interest learn. is the best teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is a, a motto to live by. Imagine learning English. Like, yeah. we can't imagine it because Cause we, we already yeah. we already had it. Yeah. I mean, I, mo- almost all people in this room, bar two, can speak another language. <laughs> Only the two idiots can. Um, so, yeah. 
back um, back on track. I think for Chinese um, education, we just focus more on writing and reading yeah. rather than speaking and listening. So that many Chinese students, like when they come, when they come, 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 probably come uh, to this country, they uh, ju- they're just afraid of uh, speaking out. Like mm. they're quite shy, mm-hmm. and right. then they they're afraid of mm, making mistakes. Right. Were you nervous to come here? Not nervous. Not nervous. And uh, quite is excited. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. June's not scared of anything. Yes. I like roller coaster. <laughs> 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 oh, no. So you didn't really. You were like just excited to come and and yeah. experience something new. Mm-hmm. But I think I like, um I mean everyone is is afraid of something and. Do you think I'm afraid of something? Spiders. Uh, <laughs> what? Spiders. No, she's not. Snakes. No. The dark. Oh, the dark. Uh, I used to, and then I, I say, uh, stopped. I stopped. Yeah. <laughs> 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 o- overcome. 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 Yeah. June's afraid of chips. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she, just, she just doesn't eat them. Yeah. If I don't eat chips, they might eat me. What? <laughs> 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 no, I think I'm afraid of driving. I think I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's so random. <laughs> it's my dry job. <laughs> Wait, why are you scared of driving? <laughs> Did you hear it? Oh. Yeah, of course I heard it. I think it's because. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll continue. <laughs> no. Jen, that's a funny Tom, thing you ever said. Did you just have a <laughs> vodka? <laughs> <laughs> no. And for I driving. <laughs> so sorry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I probably, um, yeah, probably that is that, like, when someone's driving. Uh, when when I'm driving, <laughs> uh, I'm always <laughs> no Tom. Sorry. Are you alright? That was a good one. Central I like Korea. that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Mm, like when I was driving, I always feel that mm, probably like someone's gonna bump into me, mm. and then I don't feel comfy. But <laughs> I really enjoy being a passenger. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Is there, wait, wait, wait. Is there more to <laughs> the chips thing? <laughs> What's the chips thing story? It was, just, it was just a joke, but like, June, June does not eat chips. Like, she refused to because she's health conscious because they are quite unhealthy. Mm. But I think that bit that you added on was just a joke. Mm. Yeah. But was it a, a metaphorical joke? Was there something there? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. It's just a dry joke. Uh, it was a good one. <laughs> dry I one. think everyone enjoyed that. Um, Especially the air. <laughs> no. Um, that was so funny. <laughs> um, is there? I feel like in the media, it always shows China as like, like full of smog. It has dirty air. Is oh. that the case? Is it is it as bad as people make out? Mm, that's yeah, the yeah, you've been as well. Yeah, right? I can attest to it. It's yeah. not like yeah, that. No. Um, especially in summer, not at all. Cause, no. Um, it's summer, <laughs> but in winter, mm, in big ci- in big cities like Beijing, Shanghai, we used to be like that. But for this year, like the winter just passed. Um, it's not at all. No. Because um. Well, I I went back to Beijing for Christmas last year, for this past Christmas, mm-hmm. and it's totally fine, nothing like that. Why do you think the media make out like the mm. uh, uh, it's like so dirty and the air so so propaganda? propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the why though? Why would why are they making it out like this? The mm. why? Firstly, what's the it's true. Um, secondly, they just want to exaggerate it. Right, make yeah. it more theatrical, yeah. dramatic. Yeah. Mm. Um, you said you you went back for Christmas. Do you celebrate Christmas? 
Mm, we don't. No. Is we, it, does no one celebrate Christmas in China? Not very common. Um, like, how do you, what do you mean by celebrating? Um, do you do you give gifts and oh. have like a big Christmas dinner? We do you decorate? I don't think we do like Christmas dinner. Like, no. Go out for a meal? Not really. Um, but uh, also we don't have that Christmas tree set up. No. Mm. But I think a lot of people give up, give each other gifts. Like, that's my wee Christmas gift. <laughs> Is it a religious country, China? No. No. Uh, the ma- majority of us don't believe in any religion. Right. Do, I'm guessing you didn't grow up religious no. then. No. No. Because I was brought up like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, so did my parents. Yeah. So uh, did, is there no do anyone in your family at all no religion? No. No. Hmm. Interesting. Um, oh, sorry. Speaking of the Christmas, mm-hmm. pre- Christmas uh, tradition, I think um, it's more for com- commercial reasons. Uh, if Christmas, we, yeah. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. If we ever celebrate it, yeah, <laughs> like um, big sale. Same. Parents, s- yeah. Probably the same here. Like we really. We're just celebrating it because. No, but you're having like amazing Christmas, Christmas, uh, like dance or meals. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, but it's probably just, just to push that that commercial. Yeah. You know. I mean, not everyone does it. Some people. Some do some people do celebrate yeah. it for religious reasons. Oh yeah. Some people don't. <laughs> I, I celebrate Christmas. We have a Christmas tree up. <laughs> Still. Um, yeah, but Probably. the other day know. you were like, oh, my family don't really celebrate. We don't really celebrate. Christmas. I say that, yeah, but then we celebrate Christmas the same way many people do here. Like, we put a Christmas tree up, we have a Christmas dinner, yeah. we sit together as a family, we have presents. Yeah, that ticks all the boxes, yeah. I'd say. And then, mm. we, you know. You are celebrating. Yeah. Maybe we're just celebrating family. Yeah. Um, What, uh, is there something if you could take anything from china mm. and integrate it into here into the culture of here what would it be excluding food <laughs> it can't be the food yeah don't be cliched Jun. Uh, like i'm not talking about food let me see <laughs> and what would you bring here as well from bangladesh the sun the sun <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. When I say my family or my friend, <laughs> no. Aww. Mm, Aww. It's not a thing, but yeah, someone. But that, that is a good enough answer for me. Okay. And if you could take, if you could take anything from here and take it back over, what would it be? Mm. Same for your reasons. Chill. Hmm. Chill. No, no, no. I mean the cozy lifestyle. Hmm. Yeah, because mm. everything That's in China, not everything, but. All, almost everything in China is fast paced. Yeah. Um, it's quite intense. intense. Yeah. Like, because we have a large population, so the competition is quite big. Right. Is it very like disciplined? Like, mm. uh, was was school much harder in China than yeah, it definitely. would be here? Definitely. Yeah. Did they have like very high expectations for? Yeah, yeah, especially from your parents. Really? Uh, see, if you are the only one in a, in a family, they mm. really want you to do something. Yeah. Whereas here, mm, probably parents are more expecting their children to enjoy their life, yeah. have a happy life. Um, I don't know. So is it less like, oh, just do whatever you want as long as you're happy? It's more yeah. like, no, you have to do this. You have to go down this route in life kind of thing. Mm, for example, if you want to study music in China, like as a major, it's quite risky. Really? Um, I don't mean I don't mean risky. Yeah, but, like the, um, like they don't encourage quite, it. Yeah, it's quite difficult to make a, make the choice. Right. Um, because firstly, your parents wouldn't really dare to do. It. <laughs> they want you to um follow other people um follow the traditional way, like go to a really good uni. And then study probably like engineering or finance, mm. Mm. <laughs> like mm, the ones that can give you uh, stable jobs. Mm. But for music or arts, it's quite difficult to ensure that you get a really good job. Right. It's quite. Mm, I don't know. It's quite. Can you think of something? 
Is it quite demanding, very like... Yeah, demanding. Very like pushy almost. Mm, like I think it depends more on your fortune mm. and your talent. Yeah. Yeah. What is it you're studying? Accounting and finance yeah. at Strasbourg Uni. So what is it you want to do once you leave here? Mm. As I leave uni? I have three choices. <laughs> First one is do something related to my course, mm. like to make the most of my course. So like, like be, a, be an accountant or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Um, right. Second one is to do something with education, right. like either um, teach Chinese here or teach mm. English back in China. All right. Mm, yeah, I prefer the former one. <laughs> former <laughs> one, yeah. Um, the, f- the last one is to, um, to do something with the charity, like uh, working at NGO or an N- 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 NPO, yeah, non-profit, no, yeah, non-profit organization. Right, right. Yeah. What what one do you want to do most? Like, what one are you kind of like gravitating towards? Mm, I think that's my order. <laughs> oh right. Order. Yeah, that's the order. Yeah. All right. Interesting. So, if you did a, uh, if you you went on to become an accountant, would you do that here or would you do that in China? Mm. I think both are quite good, but I would try to get a job here right. um, and work for some years yeah. or I don't know how, how long and then retire in China. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> retire grow in, China. in a city called Suzhou. It's in Jiangsu province and it's of a very good... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. And yeah. It's a very beautiful city. It looks like Venice. City. Yeah, it does a little bit, actually. That's it. Uh, it has a reputation of Eastern Venice. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Brianz, mm-hmm. what are you studying? I'm studying mechanical engineering. Sorry, I have so many thoughts going on <laughs> um, through do what Juno's saying. Throw them out? Throw them <coughs> out now? When you were saying how... Let that um, tap run. <coughs> parents have an expectation for their children to do well and to yeah. be successful and then parents here want their children to be happy and to live mm-hmm. happy lives i think they want the same thing i think they want oh yeah um i think they that's want so true yeah uh, true that. <laughs> they want the best for their children mm-hmm. but in different ways yeah. that's what i was thinking i mm-hmm. mean they're all caring for their children mm-hmm. they want them to mm-hmm. live a good life in the future and just a different perspective because of yeah, like where you just, are they're just showing it differently because yeah. my mom's the same you know she thinks that way as well mm. well your mom don't really your, your mom doesn't really make you study you are <laughs> motivating she, she yourself did, she did before okay yeah she did a lot but now she's lost hope <laughs> <laughs> it's over hopeless no um, but now I kind of know how to she do it myself she doesn't have to yeah she doesn't have to what to motivate you yeah I know hmm Okay. What were you asking me? Yeah, I study mechanical engineering at Strathclyde. I'm in fourth year. What's your plan post graduation? Ooh, it's a difficult one. Uh, do you have your top three? Like do I have Jen? top three? I can make it up. <laughs> and make it up in the order. Um, go get an engineering job mm-hmm. uh, with a company that my views align with. Rolls Royce. <laughs> oh, Rolls Royce. Just cool. <laughs> cool. Um, Go do any other job that my skills align with, such as, um, taking an inspiration from Junes. I could probably go into something in teaching as well, mm. because I already work as a tutor. Mm-hmm. I've been working as a tutor for three years. Shout out if anybody needs. <laughs> <tutors in-house. laughs> That's my number, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy. Link in the description. <laughs> um, number three. <laughs> Um, <laughs> number three is moving to Japan with Tom and Roman. We just planned that right now. Yeah. And I think that Not was... Not even Beijing? Uh, we'll Japan visit, first. we'll visit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's only, it's only a wee, wee skip it's over. It's just one stop. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and that's my most exciting option. Yeah, <laughs> that, I think that's number one. You left the best to last. And also most likely to last. <laughs> <laughs> um... And what are you planning on actually doing though? Like, what what do you want to do? That's what I was going to say afterwards. Like, obviously, I struggled quite a lot there to make these up mm-hmm. or to think about these. So, um, I have less of an idea than June has. You're just t- living in the moment. I'm just yeah. I'm just taking it as it goes. Focusing on like. the now. 
Say I can't enough. do everything. I'll just pick one of my like pool. When the time mm. comes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll do the same. So you've almost got like a a little collection of things you could you can just like dip into at any point and go right. Yeah. I'll do this one. Get one randomly. Yeah, <laughs> and just hope for the best. It goes all right. I feel like sometimes you can't choose, so mm. you need to wait or see what opportunities present themselves. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there anything else you wanna you were, you were thinking of while Jim was talking? Grow long hair. Grow long hair. Yeah, what? I've never done that before. Are you just <laughs> jealous of my long hair? <laughs> I'm just trying to be you. That sounds rock and roll. I think you should do it. I don't know. Have you never thought about that? Yeah, the hair I, down I, to like yeah, you. all the time actually. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, <laughs> this is it. no. <laughs> we're just calling you no. Um, any well, questions from the audience? Yes. Sorry. See some people. Uh, especially boys when they uh, when they keep a long hair they're just doing it for charity because they can cut it off and then mm, yeah. donate yeah I know people have done that that's pretty cool Ben Brown what do you think are the most common misconceptions about your country or Bangladesh in China hmm <laughs> <laughs> mm. I know. <laughs> oh. there's so many probably mm. biggest um. not like a lot of people know about Bangladesh mm. I've asked some I people and they're uh, yeah and uh, I met some Bangladesh people when? like when I was nine year old oh <laughs> uh, yeah I haven't told you that <laughs> <laughs> when you were nine years yeah. old <laughs> when I when met when I met that like it's not when I was with them but <laughs> they have a business trip mm-hmm. and my dad mm-hmm. just pre- uh, brought me along and i was speaking english to them oh cool <laughs> they Aww. could understand me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i was speaking this uh, most the most like the simplest mm. things what were they like to to remember and it was difficult mm, they bought me an ice cream Aww. which is very tasty <laughs> oh, they're very kind yeah um they're very nice very kind. Mm. Have you ever met any Bangladesh people apart from me and Mahi? <laughs> Your mom? And my family. Sammy. <laughs> Someone um, that I don't know. Do you know Sammy? Know yeah, Sammy. but I yeah, it doesn't count either. I don't know. I don't think I have. I don't it's think hard I have. to come by, yeah. Yeah. Mm. When I was uh, young, my dad was on a business trip and I met these guys and I was speaking English to them and they bought me an ice cream. No, um, no, never. I don't think I have. Have I? Nah, I don't. I really don't think I have. I don't even think I've met anyone from China either, except from you. I'm very honoured. And, and if I have, privileged. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot you. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. Um, so do you have any misconceptions about your your countries, your respective you countries? I think I've got two things in my Ooh. head, and I, I was comparing which one is more important. Do, uh, do both, just do both. Uh, both, yeah. The first one is that we don't eat everything. <laughs> you don't eat everything. <laughs> People are like, oh, Jun, have you ever eaten a dog <laughs> or, or something like dog meat? Have you? Oh. Not at all. Um, like I don't know anyone who's done that before. Right. But I know some people in like probably Yunnan province in our mm. country, um, they do that, yeah, occasionally. Right. Um, but it's not as common as like it's made out. Yeah, and for bugs, like eating bugs, I have never tried that <laughs> before. But yeah, some people quite like it, but not everyone would do that. Yeah. People are doing it for fun. They can't eat it every day. Mm, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's not as regular as it's made out to be. Yeah, and for the bugs, it's like a skew. Mm. They have bugs on right. it. Mm, I think they put a lot of spice on it, so you can't taste the actual taste yeah. of the bug. You just um taste the spice. Right. So that's why they enjoy it. I would say. And what was the other one? The had? other one is like, I think um, some people, uh, a lot of people, um especially the ones who who are from. Hong Kong, Taiwan, Macau, they consider their co- they consider their country as the only like not not the only like the um independent country whereas um it's written on the contracts like um they are part of China. Like right. Hong Kong is part of China, 
Taiwan's part of China, and uh, Macau is the part a part of China as well. Right. Yeah. And they sort of see themselves as not part of China. Yeah, they're like, um, I'm not a Chinese <laughs> person. Right. Um, yeah, something like that. Right. Interesting. Um, do you have any? Mine, mine was the food one as well. <laughs> I think a lot of people here would love Bangladeshi food. Yeah. Um, just the authentic taste, the spices. Because I, I know a lot of people here don't like eating spicy food, but there are some people with extremely high spice tolerances mm. like mikey uh, ewan will know um he can eat the, the really spicy sauce at nando's that's just the gauge i'm going by <laughs> right, but he would love food from there do you think um, he can tolerate uh, Sichuan hot pot probably yeah i think so amazing his face goes really red it's like the spice is building up oh yeah <laughs> i remember you told me once that there we passed a restaurant and you said that's actually uh like a bangladesh style yeah, restaurant Lamech. but they call it Mm -hmm. something else because they know it doesn't sell well uh, there's another one in glasgow called mother india there you are bangladeshi you're being tracked That's every day i was gonna say i thought you'd maybe say that called misconception is that a lot of british people would uh, a lot of these mm -hmm. countries together and mm -hmm. see them all as the exact same thing but i'm sure there's lots of things like bangladesh that are really unique and independent to only that country yeah absolutely or people might not want to go to a restaurant if it's branded as a bangladeshi restaurant because <laughs> Um, you know, it's kind of unknown here. That's why. That's an interesting thing you brought up, and that a lot of people will just go, "Oh, they're they're just all Indian. All these <laughs> all these people are just all Indian." No. And then all and then when it gets further east, a lot lots of people will just have this misconception of like, "Oh, they're all Chinese," and they won't like categorize and understand. Like, it's obviously coming from a place of like poor poor education, poor uh, compassion. Could be because most people here are Scottish, so. But my question is, mm -hmm. is that uh, in China or in Bangladesh, do they look at all white people and go, oh, they're, they're probably British. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably just all British or maybe all American or I European. I they're British, but people in Bangladesh um, may point out or, or stare at when people look different from there. Really? Yeah, it's like a cultural thing. They point out like they'll. <laughs> they might not. They won't point out. A white man. <laughs> I've never seen that before. But they'll, they'll, they'll make a fuss about it. But you should. Really? I, I don't believe you should. But so is it it's just so uncommon for a white person to be in Bangladesh? Yeah. You really? Just wouldn't see them. Uh huh. Hmm. Interesting. And what about in China? Is mm. are white people more common? British people, or uh, European like people? Caucasian. Yeah. Um, I think for uh, international. Is, how do you say international areas like the CBD in Beijing mm, you feel like that right. it's quite common no you you now feel like that yeah 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 it's it's not, you will, it's you not will a get big people thing, there. Yeah. yeah because there are quite a lot of um, like Caucasians in that busy area right. for commercial reasons um, but for where I live I'm, I just really see a Caucasian yeah no <laughs> no is it because you live in sort of like the outside of the city yeah, yeah. and see for Jiangsu province it's the same like yeah it's not as overpopulated as Beijing so yeah, more local people there hmm. um well I just want to say thank you very much for you guys coming on sure. and talking nice. is there anything you want to bring up before before this comes to an end Thank you for no. having us. Any questions? No. Well, as I said, thank you very much. Um, is there anything you want to plug? Your social medias? Tasty, tasty. Link in the description. Okay. Uh, you can check that out. Anything else? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, no. Let's see. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be in here. Struggling here. No. If you have any hit me up and i'll put them in the yeah. in the bio but yeah thank you very much for coming on and uh always remember don't eat chips uh because they'll eat you yes it's very important <laughs> <laughs>